in today's lecture we are going to learn about flex so flex is used in the very first phase of compiler which is your lexical analyzer so as we can recall from our classes that uh, uh, the work of lexical analyzer is to identify the tokens so tokens are the valid words which match the exact pattern in your programming language so what the in what is the input to the uh, what is the input to your lex Typical analyzer phase in your compiler that is your source program, and what is the output is the stream of tokens. Similarly, in flex, we will simplify the work of lexical analyzer with the help of the flex program. As I have told you all to do it earlier, like we can use transition diagrams in automata theory for like we can write a C program to implement the lexical analyzer, like which can identify the keywords, which can identify the identifiers, and so on. But that work is very tedious. So instead of that, we can use the lexical analyzer which is uh, like fast lexical analyzer generator to simplify that process but in the back end of the fast lexical analyzer as well you'll have a c code which will do the same work as we tried to do earlier so what does it actually do so flex is basically nothing but just a program or we can say it's a tool which does the work of your lexical analyzer it was originally written by vex paxson and c around 1987 so flex is an open source version we can download it and install it on our machines earlier version of flex as you can see sometimes uh, while uh, searching on the net was lex so lex was not a open source version but rather a proprietary version so that was not open source so the full form of lex was your lexical analyzer generator however most of the co uh, programs or uh, things which we do in lex are supported in flex as well rather flex is a more advanced version of your lex so in lex for doing the parsing part we have to install the yacc which is your yet another compiler compiler however in flex we have the bison package for doing the parsing part which we'll see later on so now as we i have told you earlier that what does flex does it takes the stream of uh, like uh, no sorry it takes the source program as input and generates a stream of token so flex backend may flex also generates the c file so i can show you one diagram so need not put there so let's see this diagram so what happens you write a file the extension of the file of the flex file is dot flex f l e x the extension is dot flex you can name the file as first dot flex or whatever and then after the compilation part after compiling you will get a c file by the name lex dot y y dot c so we can compile the c file by the C compiler, which is your GCC, the default C compiler in Ubuntu machine is your GCC. So we can compile the C file by GCC file name dot C. Uh, that is the file name here is your lex dot yy dot C. So you cannot change this particular file name. It is by default whenever you compile a flex file, you will get a file name by the name lex dot yy dot C, and then it will create an object file that is executable by the name a dot out. So you can compile that. So what are the commands? so the very first thing like when you compile the c file you get a lex.yy.c and then you uh, compile that so we'll see that a bit later first of all i have opened the terminal by going into the dash home there i can write tr and then you can open the terminal this way or you can use control alt t as well to open the terminal pressing all the three keys together so first of all you'll need to install flex on your machine so for that first of all you'll have to update the repository for that you have to do sudo apt hyphen get update so you will be ask, asked for the password so after giving the password the repository will be updated it will going it's going to take some time and uh, you'll have to have an internet connection for the same now it's done so then you'll have to install sudo apt hyphen get install flex so as in my machine it was already installed so it just gave the that flex is already the newest version however in your machine you will be prompted to uh, 
give either Y or slash N whether you want to continue with the installation or not. So, you will have to press Y and then you will have to press enter to continue. After this particular thing is done, you can check the version of flex by which flex. So, here the flex is in user bin flex. So, user directory bin directory in inside the root user bin my flex is installed. I can clear the terminal by typing CLEAR and now my terminal is very clear. So, the next thing which we need to do is to write a basic flex program. So, what is the basic parts of flex? What, how do you write the uh, flex program? So, for writing the flex program, it basically has three sections. So, the three sections of your flex program are the definition section, the rule section and your uh, the definition section, the rule section and the user code section. So, in the definition section what we write? So, whatever we write in the definition section that is copied as it is to the C program which is your lex.yy.c. So, here you can have the variables if you have to use any sorry if you have to use any uh, uh, c func c library functions like stdio.h string.h math.h whatever you can include over here so there you can do that next comes the rule section what you do in the rule section in rule section you define the patterns which have to be matched exactly and you have to be very sure in the rule section you have to be very careful about how you define the rules so i'll tell you about the rules and then in the user code section you have the main program and the user subroutines if you want to write any subroutine yourself you can write it over here like user functions you can include over here. So, uh, the first which is your definition section the syntax of the definition section is modulo and then you have the curly parenthesis opening of the curly parenthesis and inside it you can write whatever you want and then you have the closing parenthesis and then you have the modulo again modulo operator again. So, this is the syntax of the definition section. So, inside the definition section we are going to write it this way and then in the rules section. So, what we do in the rules section you have a few rules like I have uh, like we have done in the automata theory as well how you define a particular uh, uh, string like in regular expressions how you define a string like if you have a star that what does it signify? It signifies 0 or more occurrences of A. If you have A plus that is the positive closure, you have 1 or more occurrences. If you give a pipe in between like X slash Y, so either it will be X or Y and then here is it is concatenated the prefix is W and the suffix is Z. So, it can be W X Z or W Y Z this way. If you are giving a hyphen in between like 0 hyphen 9, so it is all the digits between 0 and 9. So, if you are writing 3 digits like 0 plus 9, so it will be either 0 or plus or 9, 0 comma 9 then either 0 or 9 and if you are writing just in square braces 0 space 9, so it will specify that either 0 or 9 and so on. So, these are some specific patterns, I will give you the list of the patterns via mail. So, this is it. So, next now we have to compile our very first flex program. So, there in the first flex program, I will try to identify three keywords which are your begin, end and else or whatever three keywords. Let us try to identify three keywords in our very first flex program. So, I have written one flex program for you all. So, this is my first flex program. So, before writing the first flex program like the name of my first flex program is first dot flex. So, I will tell you how you can compile and write. So, the file name in flex should have extension as dot flex. So, this is the first thing which you have to remember. So, to compile what you have to do you have to write whatever the file name you have given file name dot so you have to write flex file name dot flex so this will generate this will generate your lex dot yy dot c and then you will compile this by gcc lex dot yy dot c and this will create object file a dot out 
so to run what you have to do you have to just do dot slash a dot out so this is the these are the steps which you have to follow while compiling the program creation and compilation of your flex program so here i have just written the first program so here i was not using uh, this is my from here to here this is my definition section so in definition section i am not using any of the variables or library functions so i have just written it over there and then the three parts of the flex program are separated by double modulo like you give two modulo so this is my first so this is my first section and then i have given two percent sign which is two modulo sign and then this is my rule section over here and now here after two modulo this is my uh user function section okay so here this is my basic structure of the program so like here i have not included any functions or subroutines or like any library function or any variables so i have just given it over there and now here i have written the program to identify three keywords which are my while if and else so i have written while pipe sign then if then pipe sign then else and then i have written printf modus keyword in c so this is copied as it is whatever it is written inside the printf it is copied as it is in your output and modus will save the whatever input is given by the user and that is stored in by by text so this is this explains this section and then in the next section you have the main function and then yy lex is the entry point in your uh, lex.yy.c we'll see how lex.yy.c what is the structure of lex.yy.c so here this function is there in your lex.yy.c file and it is called over here and int yy wrap is the function which checks for the continuous input like the compiler has to work all the time so it it will check for the continuous input so whenever it uh, gets the in out uh, so whenever the yy wrap function uh, it encounters input it's, it returns 0 otherwise it returns 1 so this way it works so this happens now i'll just do how we can compile and run so my folder is there in the desktop here there i have created a folder by the name flex so i can see the contents so there i have two files so i have removed flex.yby.c now i just have one file which is your first.flex so now i'll compile my file which is flex first.flex i can see that lex.yby.c file is being created now so to compile this lex gcc lex.yby.c the by default the object file created is a.out or you can create your own object file by a name of your choice like by given hyphen by giving hyphen o so gcc lex.yby.c hyphen o first so you can see a an object file an executable file first has been created so dot slash first so what i have done while is a keyword if is a keyword so this is being printed but this program runs continuous all the time because we want the uh, flex program to check for the input continuously but what so this is it but if i want to close it i'll press control c so this program is closed so let's check our program again we can use nano editor or we can just check it from here as well so this is my program so now if you want the program to like uh, there are few more things we can do over here if you want a few more keywords to be identified so like i was identifying three keywords i can add few more like if you want to insert begin and sorry and if you want to end maybe so then you can save this particular program you can get back you can recompile it flex So again, GCC lex dot yy dot c. Maybe I have not created the object file. So by default, we can check a dot out will be created. So dot slash a dot out, and the new keyword which we so begin and end are being identified. So I am closing. But every time it's checking for, it's waiting for input. Now there's one more thing like the program. If you want. 
to like every time it just if you just want to identify a single keyword like it you doesn't want the program to wait so here we can add one more line to end this like if you get a new line in the input you can just return so you can just return zero and the execution will be stopped then and there so you can write it over here so i can save it again and we can compile it so while and then it stopped so if you want the program to continuously check for input and then to stop then we can uh, continuously check for input then you cannot in, uh, you need not include this particular slash n line so here if you are getting a new line then we are telling the program to return to the called program so and one more thing which you have to be very careful like in the rule section the patterns are being matched so you have to be very careful how you define the pattern like if i give a extra tab over here like in front of while i have uh, if i want to write a indented program and i have given a tab in the next line i have not given a tab let's see what happens so if i save this particular program i come back i and then gcc gcc like dot y by dot c so c i got an error so you have to be very careful while you write your program in flex programming language because it is very much sensitive to the spaces you give so a space can define a different pattern here it's not recognizing the pattern so your uh, error is being thrown so you have to be very careful about how the patterns are being identified and how you give the spaces so this is it i'll you all have to bear, install flex in your machine and uh, do the first basic program in the next class we'll try to do the identifier programs like how we can identify the valid keywords and most important the work of the compiler is not just to identify the valid ones but to discard the invalid ones as well like here if i'm giving begin i'm giving end it is being identified but if there is something like one two begin so it should say that it's neither a valid keyword nor an identifier so the work of compiler is that as well so we have to be very careful like how we write the lexical analyzer so that it identifies the valid words and also discards the invalid ones so this will be all for today thank you